Congress urges more protests against Rwanda. Bros. Davini TV, welcome. Congress have taken two streets for protests against Rwanda, accusing their neighboring country of supporting M. Venetrualeba's group. The demonstration took place in different places, including Goma and the premises of Rwanda's embassy in Kinshasa, the capital city of the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. Those who participated in the protests include parliamentarians, representatives from civil societies organizations, ordinary citizens, motorcyclists and traders among others. In Igoma, protesters turned violent and mounted demonstrations at the country's small border with Rwanda commonly known as Petit Barrier, where they traced on, on Rwandan territory. Protests are escalating in the DRC where all political parties abhorring destructive ideologies against Rwanda are requesting for approval to stage demonstrations. Each political parties has to write to DRC leadership requesting for go ahead to mount protests at Rwanda's embassy in the country. Rwanda's embassy is headquartered in Avenue de Justice in Kinshasa. It is located in Marit Store building, which also houses different business. The embassy's officials are safe as the majority opted to work from home rest as they are assaulted by protesters. Homeless. On 1st June 2022, Congress in Wakav town staged protests at Lucy's 1 and Lucy's 2 borders requesting the Democratic Republic of Congo DRC to cross all borders with Rwanda, particularly in Lucy's district. Congress involved in protests were held hearing, speaking early of Rwanda and insisting that they want to fight Rwanda. The tension between Rwanda and the DRC laws sends M. Ventura Labour Group resumed fighting with Congress Army FRDC. DRC accused Rwanda of supporting M. Ventura and claimed that Rwandan is a soldier closed to the country for the same causes. During the crashes with M. Ventura FRDC in collaboration with the Democratic Force for the Liberation of Rwanda FDRR have shared Rwanda territory three times since March this year. The locket shared on Rwandan's land injured people from Msanze and the Brera district and destroyed the properties. Following the tension between the two main neighboring countries, Angolan, President Joe Lorenzo on the mediation processes. His recent discussion with the Congress President Kisekedi saw the country raising two Rwandan soldiers kidnapped by FDLR and FRDC. On Monday this week, it was reported that M. Ventura captured the Bunagana town and the border, seized an armored vehicle from FRDC. The spokesperson of M. Ventura announced that Bunagana town is in the full control of M. Ventura, adding that Congress's soldiers in the area fled to Uganda. Wunagana is located in 60 kilometers from Goma town located at the border between Rwanda and DRC. Rwanda has at different times explained that DRC's allegations are baseless and insisted that the crisis is an internal matter of DRC which has to be solved without dragging it into the issues. Rwandan is the shops loaded as letters turn violent in Igoma. Protesting Congress in Goma have looted Rwandan's shop in the town while others were hurt from breaking padlock following several warning shots by security force. Congress took to the street in the morning of Wednesday, 15 June 2022, for protesting against Rwanda, accusing the country of supporting M. Ventura Group in crashes with Congress Army FRDC. The demonstration took place in different places, including Goma Town in northern Kivu province and the premises of Rwanda's embassy in Kinshasa, the capital city of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Those who participated in the protests included parliamentarians, representatives from civil societies, organizations, ordinary citizens, motorcyclists, and traders, among others. 
EAC to send regional force in the DRC. A regional specialist of the force is said to be de deployed in the Democratic Republic of Congo to defuse tension caused by several armed groups, especially in the eastern part of the country. In a statement issued by Kenya President Uhuru Kenyatta on June 50 in his capacity as the chairperson of the East African Community, he announced the activation of the East African Regional Force under the auspices of the EAC to intervene in the ongoing conflict and defuse it. In this regard, the meeting of the regional commanders of the respective defense force operating in Nairobi process scheduled for Sunday, June 19 in Nairobi should finalize preparations to undertake the deployment of the regional force, read the President Uhuru's statement. The statement adds in part that the regional force shall be deployed to the Itulu, North Kivu and the South Kivu provinces immediately to stabilize the zone and enforce peace in support of the DRC security force and in the cross coordination with MONUSCO. These provinces were also declared weapon free in the statement. The regional force will work with local provincial authorities to support another and PDD analysis in order to create enabling conditions towards stability and peace in the eastern DRC at the settlement. The development comes in the wake of the recent rebellion by M. Ventura Rebus, who demanded that the Congress government, among others, stop collaborating with FDRL and other armed groups that are known to the persecute a section of Congress. In the same statement, President Kenyatta ordered for an immediate cessation of hostilities in the Eastern DRC and for all armed groups to lay down arms unconditionally. I continue to call upon the political leadership in the regional to remain committed in putting in the place and reinforcing the political and military effort in the DRC toward bridge lasting peace and stability in the country. I note with concern that recent developments including open hostility, the hostility in particular threatened to undermine the ongoing political process indicate President Kenyatta's statement. The statement came two days after the M. Venturalibas overran Unagana, a trading hub on the border with Uganda, forcing Congress government soldiers there to free into neighboring Uganda. The regional initiative is an outcome of the first and second conclaves of the ERC heads of the state conclaves on the peace and the security situation in the DRC under the chairmanship of Kenya President Or Kenyatta, held on April 8 and 21, respectively, at the State House Nairobi. This is Bronze Divine TV. I'm called Baji Bronze. Have a nice moment.